Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Ria and this video is going to be about Diploma in Radiology. So there have been a lot of doubts regarding Diploma and to help us answer these doubts, I have with me Dr. Tushar. So Tushar sir is doing a secondary DNB from Gangaram Hospital. So welcome to my channel yes. and can, can you please give your introduction. So hello everyone, uh, myself Dr. Tushar. I have done MBBS from the Ranga Medical College. Thereafter I did DMRD from Patna Medical College. Currently, I am doing secondary DNB radiology from Sargangaram Hospital, New Delhi. Yes. So, sir, let's just start out right away. What is DMRD? What does it stand for and what is this course? So, DMRD is a uh, two-year course post-MBBS in the specialty of radiology and it stands for Diploma in Medical Radio Diagnosis. Okay. So, sir, who should opt for a DMRD course in your opinion? So, if uh, anyone wants to pursue their life after MBBS in the world of radiology but their rank is not good enough, that they will get MD or DMD radiology through NEET PG counseling, then they have two options. Either they will prepare for one year again and they will get NEET PG next year, or they will choose any undesirable branch, undesirable with respect to them. So I think uh, branch is something which is going to be with us for the rest, of, uh, rest yeah. of our life. So we should never compromise with our branch. So uh, here comes the midway by taking DMRD as a course option to pursue their uh, uh, dream branch, branch radiology. Right, because the cutoff for MD and even DMB radiology goes till 3000, I think, maximum. Yeah. But for D, uh, DMRD, 10, I think uh, they can still pursue it up till 10 to 15,000 10, ranks. I'll tell you guys the exact closing ranks at the end of this video. So, DMRD is a very good option if you are very keen on pursuing radiology and you don't want to take any yeah, other branch, much. then definitely DMRD is a very good option. So, uh, sir, what is the difference uh, in the course structure between DMRD and, say, MD and DNB? So the course structure is the same for MD and DNB radiology and DMRD radiology but the difference is that it's a two year course so mm -hmm. the duration is uh, less shortened right uh, but the posting and as compared to our MD uh, students which we have posted in our uh, college mm -hmm. the posting rotations bond and the stipend was same for two years but the only difference is that they, the course was three years and our course was two years. And, and uh, uh, we don't have to give any thesis, right. whereas MD students and DNB students have to give thesis. That is a, a very year. big difference, yeah. right? So exactly, sir, how can we take uh, a DMRD course? Which what exam do we have to give, and what are the types of DMRD seats? So uh, the exam is same, that is NEET PG. Yes. And there are two types of DMRD. Okay. Either you can take DMRD from a uh, government medical college under NMC, mm -hmm. or you can take DMRD from a DNB institute under NBE. Between these two, I think uh, one should prefer DMRD from a government medical college because the passing rate and uh, ultrasound exposure is high as compared to DNB institutes because mm -hmm. the exit exam for government medical college occurs at the same institute where you are doing your course. So the consultant and cases will be familiar to you, whereas in case of DNB institutes, the cases and consultant will not be familiar as the exit exam occurs at uh, and outside, outside from the MD parent institute. So it's very similar to the difference between the exit exam of MD and, and DNB. So yeah. you should prefer doing a DMRD from a government institute yeah. because of more hands on. Uh, more and hands on in ultrasound. On an yeah. ultrasound and yeah. also increased passing rates. Passing rate. But uh, otherwise the degree is the same. It is DMRD yeah. regardless yes. from if it's a, from a private institute or ah. from a government institute. Yeah. Yes. So sir, after one finishes their DMRD course, what are the future options that they have? Can they uh, uh, go outside and, and practice privately or can they pursue uh, some more degrees or can they join a government hospital? So what are the future aspects of a DMRD person? So after DMRD completion, you will be a uh, radiologist, certified radiologist to work. Okay. In any center, any uh, any uh, for profit hospital, but uh, you cannot join any medical college as senior resident. Mm -hmm. You cannot enter into academics part. You cannot uh, take part in need assess exam, which is uh, necessary for be doing super specialization if anyone wants to do so. So for doing these things, you need to give uh, you, need, you need to complete secondary DNB, which is again two year course post DMRD. For which you have to uh, give PDCT exam conducted by NBE. Okay. Right. Uh, the competition level for PDCT is not that much high as compared to NEET uh, PG or NEET UG. Mm -hmm. It is uh, the competition level is quite less. So after secondary DNB, after completion of secondary DNB, <coughs> you will be a full fledged radiologist to work in <coughs> corporate institute in tier one city, tier two city, or tier three city. Mm -hmm. As well, you can join uh, any college uh, as a senior resident. 
to uh, enter into academics part and also you can give neat ss exam if you want to do super specialization in radiology okay so after finishing secondary dnb you will be considered to be equivalent so, to an md, MD or a dnb yeah, right. but sir if somebody does not want to pursue that option they don't want to study any further after only doing dmrd what are the other options they can do uh, they can do one year fellowship there are many fellowship available for uh, one year such as msk fellowship fetal imaging fellowship or vascular imaging vascular intervention fellowship so one can do that after dmrd and also one can do frcr for doing frcr the second year dnb is not necessary not compulsory for doing frcr okay. so one can do frcr as well the acceptance for plain dmrd in a corporate good corporate institute corporate hospital is a bit less, less as compared to any md or dnb candidates of course but still they can still work outside can, right yeah. you are still a certified radiologist you can still work and i think especially in tier 2 and tier 3 cities yeah. i think that tag matters even less yeah. what matters more is your work. is your work, work quality of work yeah. which which one can improve with experience, experience as well as but definitely it is better if you f uh, finish your degree by doing a secondary dnb that will give you more smart, uh, more more confident enough to more work confidence in private institutions right and and like what is the difference uh, while of uh, while doing dmrd and while doing secondary dnb like in dmrd uh, in you DMRD, have yeah. in mm -hmm. dmrd you will be mostly focused on doing ultrasound which is mm -hmm. basics for basic for any uh, radiologist which is better but also for any radiologist so the focus main focus in dmrd is ultrasound mm -hmm. uh, whereas in secondary dnb the main focus for any candidate any just like me the main focus is learning about ct and mr which is high machine high right. uh, instrument in okay so sir after your dmrd did you have any bond and did you have to f uh, did you have to finish your bond before joining yeah, secondary dnb most of the state have uh, if you if you will do secondary uh, sorry dmrd from a government medical college then definitely you have to serve uh, bond which will be different for different uh, state as in my case it was 3 year post dmrd but uh, most of the state will give you a study leave for doing secondary dnb as uh, in uh, my case also i i may by taking a study leave from my state right. yeah so mm. one can do that So I think we have talked a lot about diploma in radiology. So are there similar diplomas available for other branches as well? So yeah, uh, this pathway is also available for uh, pediatrics, ops gynae, anesthesia, ortho, chest medicine, eye, ENT. All right. So there are so you can do diploma in any of these branches as well. So the pathway is remain same. That is two year in uh, diploma and two mm -hmm. year for doing secondary DMB mm -hmm. or in the same uh, subject. Right. So, if we just quickly summarize whatever sir has told us, basically DMRD is a two-year course in radiology, in which your course will only be of two years. Mm -hmm. You will not have to give any uh, thesis. Thesis, but you and have to do thesis in secondary DNB. But if you will do secondary DNB, of course you have to do your thesis at that time, okay. right? And you can either do your DNB from either a government hospital yeah. or from a private yeah, corporate. Right. So, sir says it is better to do it from a government hospital because you will have more hands-on in ultrasound, and the passing rate is more because your exam will be held in your own See. institute, just like an MD exam. Okay. So, that is one advantage. Uh, one advantage. And post you uh, after finishing your DMRD, either you can work outside. You will be a certified radiologist, but your degree will not be equivalent yeah. to MD or DNB. Yeah. So, in order to do that, you have to give. Uh, you have to pursue secondary DNB. For that, you have to give the PDC DCT exam. But that is not a very difficult exam. It's not as competitive as a NEET PG, so you should not be so much worried right. about it. And so after uh, finishing your secondary DNB, you will be considered equivalent right. to MD or a DNB, DNB uh, candidate, and you will be able to apply for senior residency. You can give the super specialty exam, and you will uh, you can work in corporate uh, hospitals as well. Right. And also, even after, if you don't do not want to do a secondary DNB, you can still practice outside. You will still be a certified right. radiologist, and you can still apply for fellow. ships and you can still give the frc exam. exam so this was a quick summary of whatever sir has told us thank you so much sir thank for you. providing thank our you. valuable insights and in case we have missed any of your doubts uh, we yeah. will be happy to answer them in the comment section below Thanks. so all the best for counseling guys and i'll see you soon bye